Hello, all of you. Attention, Justice Unlimited. My name is Joe Ryder Kick to Know, and you may know me from a couple of my articles, such as the Attack on Titan episode reviews, and some of the odds and ends, such as JoJo's Bizarre Adventures All Star Battles, the video game, and quite a few of the Card Fight Vanguard articles here at Attention Justice. Today, I'm bringing you a new segment called Let's Build a Deck, where we take a look at Vanguard decks. First off, as you can see in the picture, we're going to be taking a look at Ultimate Dimensional, Di Ultimate Dimensional Robo Daiusha. Daiusha is what is so commonly referred to as the Megazord deck, as that is what he is affiliated with most of the time in the thing, in the show. So we're going to get started right off the bat. Your starting vanguard is going to be Ultimate Dimen er, Dimensional Robo Goyusha, who is your starting vanguard. He's very good with a 5,000 power. He has the ability to come out one ridden, and the ability to, along with him and three other cards with Robos, er, Dimensional Robo, in their name to go back in the soul when you have a grade two, which we will look at later on, to summon up either Dayusha or Ultimate Dayusha for free. Along the way, we will have other cards, such as the first of our trigger rounds. We will be running four of Die Battles, who is the race card for Dayusha, making up one of his arms. I believe you can see either him off to the left or the right on the play mat. I'm not sure which one's which, since it's the ultimate form and their numbers are covered up. Uh, next, we will have four of Justice Cobalt. I'm not too familiar with who Justice Cobalt is. Is or who he's appear who he's similar to, um, just a cyborg beast man uh, coming in with a giant kneecap thrust, powered by rockets, followed up by a Brittany, also known as Army Penguin. Army Penguin is our draw trigger. Drawing is very important in the game. It also is quite good because he gives us 5,000 power. He's not so good on block, but, you know, pre Robot Penguin. And finally for our trigger lineup is the heel trigger. Justice Rose, who, if you can look at the picture, is surrounded by Shocker-esque villains. She's the healer for Dimension Police and probably one of the bests. So we go move on to grade ones. The first set of grades ones we'll be looking at is Dimensional Robo Die Mariner. Die Mariner has the ability, while he's in the soul, to be Soul Blaster, or you move him from the soul, and he gives your gives your vanguard three thousand power. Next up, we have four of Die Lander. If you've read my article on Daisha and the Deep Police, Die Lander is Die Battle's twin. Uh, twin. Uh, it is, says, when it comes into play, you can counterblast one. That means you flip one damage, and you can give 4,000 power to anything with the, anything with Dimensional Robo in its name. It's 6,000 power. It's pretty good. It goes in the deck. Next, we have our four perfect staple guards. These are, go, perfect guards go in any Vanguard deck. Um, this one is the, uh, Dimension Police's version. That's all I can really say on this one. Um, there's some debate on what goes in the other slots. I've seen some people run the uh, new card, uh, Speed Star. I like to run uh, two of uh, Glory Maker, if only because this deck really turns on at turn when you have four more damage for Daisha's Limit Break, and she gets to be a bigger booster. She starts off at 6,000. If you have four more damage, she becomes a 10,000 booster. Very good for this deck, because that means your Dayusha, basic Dayusha, or if you have ultimate Dayusha, such as what you've seen on the playmat here, she makes them 23 to 25,000. Next, we'll move on to our grade twos. We first have Dimensional Robo Die Dragon. He is a 9,000, who when... You have a Dimensional Robo Vanguard, and he's on the rear guard. He can swing for 12. He is our first grade 2. We run 4 of. Followed by Dimensional Robo Die Lady. Die Lady is also a 9,000 2K swinger. And when she, have, when she attacks and hits a Vanguard, she can uh, power up a Vanguard, uh, power up anybody, actually, by 3,000. 
followed up by only three, uh, Operator Girl Mika. She's also a 9,000. Whenever she hits, a, whenever she hits, she can, you can counter blast two and draw a card for free. So, and just to follow it up, we have the first part of the Dayusha deck. We have normal Dayusha or super dimensional robo Dayusha. Whenever he is on the Vanguard circle, and if he is 14,000 or higher before you swing, he deals two damage. And then we follow and end the deck up on Ultimate Dimensional Dayusha, who is what is known as a crossride or an upgraded version. He has a limit break of during your turn if the number of cards in your deck has the name Dimensional Robo in your soul, which is three or more, which is... It gets 2,000 power in critical one, meaning it becomes a 13,000 and deals two damage for free. If you have a dimensional robot Dayusha, super dimensional robot Dayusha in the soul, meaning if you play this on turn four or use Goyusha's ability on turn three, you can get him out and he'll be swinging at a 1,500. That is the build. We'll lay it out for you real quick. First off, we'll go backwards. So ultimate Dayusha's is at a four of. Then, Super Dayushas are at 4 of. Mika's are at a 3 of. Super Dimensional Robo Dai Lady is at a 4 of. Dimension, super Dimensional Robo Dai Dragon is at a 4 of. We run 2 Glory Maker. We run four of the perfect guards because the deck, any deck in Vanguard needs four perfect guards. I have yet to see a deck that functions well without it. We run four dimensional robo die landers, four dimensional robo die mariners, followed by, we're back in our triggers, four justice roses, Four Army Penguins, four Justice Cobalts, and four Die Battles. And that is the Dimensional Robot Dayusha deck. Thank you so much.